Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Snare Listen number five of the 2017 California All-State Audition Music. Hey everyone, my name is Kuei Yuan Pan and today we're covering measures 20 we're covering measures 26 to 29 of A2 number 4 from Anthony Cerrone's Portraits and Rhythm. Now in today's lesson we'll be working through these four measures, but we'll also be talking about how musical figures are used to express musical ideas or musical lines. It's important to understand the musical intent and how the musical line is created through these gestures. Having an understanding of these elements will help you in your interpretation and performance of the piece. Let's start in measure 26. The first measure we have 1 and 2 and 3 and a 4 and 5 and 6 and. Now this measure is really just this, one, two, three, four, five, six. But on beat three, there's a three and a figure that helps motivate us to beat four. Notice how the sixth notes motivates the music and moves it forward into beat four. One, two, three, four, five, six. In measure 27, we have rest and two and three and four and five and six and. In this measure, we're observing space in a syncopated oompa feel. The musical gesture at the end of measure 27 is carrying us into measure 28, and 5 and 6 and 1. Measure 28, let's just look at the first two figures, 1 and a 2 and a 3 and. So it's the same figure twice, but the second time it's just on the upbeat. 1 and a 2 and a 3 and. The next gesture is a truncated version of that first motive. Instead of a full 1 and a 2, we just have 4 and. Coming from a 5 note gesture, 1 and a 2 to a three note gesture, four e and, to a two note gesture, we finish off the measure with a two note syncopated gesture of five e, a six, and a one. Da 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 da. Two, 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 one. So that whole measure looks like this. One e and a two, and a three e and, four e and, five e, a six, and a one. Measure 29 is just rudiment number one, the single stroke roll. And even though you have to count six counts of 16th notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is really just the wind up before the drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. So to recap, understand the musical gestures and how those are used to express the musical intent or musical line. When you identify these gestures, it'll help you understand the music better and thereby help you also memorize the music. By looking at the music and analyzing and figuring out how these gestures are combined to create a musical idea, it'll help you internalize the music and create a more convincing performance. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. Leave me a comment below and click on the thumbs up. It's a great way to let me know that you want to see more of these videos and I should keep making them. I'd really love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get more updates as more videos are posted. You can either by clicking below or tapping on the subscribe button. And find me on your favorite social media. Give me a shout out and a share on your favorite social media platform at Hoi Pan. I'll write you back. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.